So I'm just going to quickly uh, explain what's involved with the pizzicato technique in Bucket Mountain. So the the hand has to be very relaxed in almost like a classical guitar style, just above the fingerboard, about an inch back from the end of the fingerboard. And if you can just rest your um, and press up against the wood uh, wooden top plate of the instrument and just have the instrument kind of firmly in your grip. Um, but the, the important thing is to have your pinky, your pinky kind of touching or hold, uh, resting up against that fingerboard to give you leverage, which then frees up those thumb, first finger and second finger uh, fingers, which will do the majority of the work. So to start with, if you're putting your first finger down on the G, A, and straight across to make that fifth, to the E, and the open A. So just practice those kind of movements to start with. And you want to start with thumb, first finger, second finger. Thumb, first finger, second finger. And you can practice an arpeggio. you can make the arpeggio style on the top string going downwards and back up again. And any sort of combination thereof of thumb, first and second finger. Uh, in Bucket Mountain, the third finger is doing all the mostly the open A stuff. It's continually playing that note. I'm not really doing too much there, but occasionally I am. And sometimes I might cross over. with a thumb and the first finger take over on the top two strings. And the idea is to kind of keep the rhythmic groupings pretty random. So it'll, it'll swap between threes. So there's a lot of improvising, there's a lot of groupings that shift between threes, fours, fives, sevens. Um, the idea is to improvise it, the idea is to not um, stick to any uh, particular pattern for any great length of time. The, um, the feeling that we're trying to create is one of, um, uh, because we've got all buckets on our heads, it's like we don't know where we are or what time signature we're in. So if we, if we don't know where we are, we have to somehow convey that feeling. And so if you stick to a, a time signature for any great length of time, 
then you then you know where you are. You know that you're in four four, or you know that you're in five four. So as soon as you get comfortable with the time signature change, as soon as you get used to, oh, we're in fives, go to a four, or go to a three, or go to a seven, um, and then occasionally bring in. bring in a little bit more tension underneath the compositional idea by bringing in closer intervals. So yeah, that's the feeling of, of that piece. And the only, that melody... Probably the only melodic idea that you could say that I, I tend to use as 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 uh, as a thing. Um, everything else is kind of improvised. Anyway, that's a good little explanation on Bucket Mountain. Enjoy. <laughs>